What's going on? What's going on, everybody? Late night crypto talk. We're gonna get started in just a second. The countdown is on. Cryptogenics coming soon. <laughs> Hope you guys are as excited as I am. It's been a busy day today. We're going to wind down our Saturday night. But I'm going to give you in some deep thought. And as I always say. I am not a licensed financial advisor to be dispensing financial advice. I read the news, share my opinion, give suggestions, and you take that information to decide what you're going to do with it. If you want to have a successful crypto career, there's four things you must adhere to. Number one, education. That is the key. Number two, never invest with money you cannot afford to lose. Number three, always get your ROI, return on investment, as fast as possible. And number four, come up with a game plan. Where do you see yourself three months, six months, one year from now? Have a plan A, B, C, or D. Stay focused. Don't get distracted. You follow that, you will limit your risk in this space. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Get things kicked off. Actually, I am not going to be reading any crypto news today. I'm going to share some knowledge. We did a special call earlier today where it was an update call for Cryptogenics. We already have that recorded. So if you missed it, what I will do is I will put the link to that recording in the chat box here. But it got me back into what I love to do best, and that is teaching. Teaching in this space, in the network marketing space, personal development, mind shift. I'm very, very, very big on that. I love that. And so it got my, got my brain working. So I'm going to expand on a couple of things. And hopefully I don't go too deep and you're able to, you know, stay with what I'm saying, what I'm, what I'm going to cover here. This is not my knowledge. This is not my information. I did not invent this. I learned it and I only share it from my point of view. So I'm nobody special other than I take information that I've learned and I apply it. So. If you missed the call earlier about our pre-launch update, I put the link in the chat box for you to go ahead and follow. So sit back and relax. We're going to cover a couple of things. Mindset shift. The first time I heard about mind sh mindset shift or mind sh changing your mindset was when I was first due to network marketing. And the gentleman in front of the room said one thing to us. He said, you guys are here because you want to change your finances. You want to change your wealth. You want to change your future. But you can't do any of that until you change your mind because you're creatures of habit. And every single one of you, where you are today is the sum result of every decision you've made in your life until this point. If you want something more in life, you have to change the things in your life change the way you think. You habitually do things that you were taught to do from birth. You don't know any different. You may want something different, but you don't know how to get something different. You were taught to go to school, get good grades, and get a good, safe, secure job. A job that will take care of you for the rest of your life. That's what I was taught. But you can't want something different 
and not do something different. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, yet expecting a different result. And people realize that, but they don't know what to do. They told me you can't have an employee mindset. You've got to think outside the box. You've got to be willing to learn and embrace the things you haven't been taught. It's a shift in your mindset. That was the first time I got introduced to that. I had to reintroduce myself to that concept. Because after 18 years at last year, I have spent in the network marketing space. 18 years. The first 10 years was nothing but education for me because I didn't make much money at all. But I believed in the space. I saw people in it making a whole lot of money. And I'm like, they're no better than I am. If they can do it, I can as well. It's just going to take some time. And then it, it happened for me. Then I started to have tremendous success in this arena, which allowed me to walk off my job and retire when I turned 35 years old. Haven't had a job since. Now, of course, there's been ups and downs in that time frame. Made seven figures and lost seven figures. Had great runs with companies and been terminated from companies. Companies gone out of business. Things that you thought would be here for long did not be here for long. So there's always been ups and downs. But that's life. And you continue to move forward. But I got burnt out to the point 2017 where I was sick and tired of building and network marketing and rebuilding teams over and over again just to maintain what I had. I wanted something more. I wanted something different. I wanted my family to be able to move to the next level and not just maintain the same quality of life we have. I wanted to, I wanted more. But there, that old thing goes, the definition of insanity. If I kept doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result, it wasn't going to happen. So I made a shift to corporate and took a position as vice president of sales and marketing for a network marketing company. More so for the stability I thought it would bring. Even though long term I would make less money than I would out in the field building. That didn't work out too well at all. I thought about coming back into the MLM space because that's what I know. That didn't work out too well either. So I said, you know what? I need to, I need to have a new shift, a new direction. What industry out there is the future? I got to step out of my comfort zone and I saw the cryptocurrency industry is what's making it happen. I saw individuals being able to earn an MLM type income without having to build an MLM type of team in an organization. I started to research, do some research on cryptocurrency, not just Bitcoin. There's a whole world behind Bitcoin. The distributed ledger technology, the blockchain, the technology behind it. And what I found out is a couple of things. Number one, it is the greatest economic shift in wealth in the history of mankind for the most amount of people. That's number one. Number two, it is the greatest invention since the Internet. Number three, it will have the greatest impact on humanity since the introduction of agriculture. That this is the wave of the future. It will disrupt every single industry on the planet, whether you like it or not, whether you understand it or not, whether you're for or against it, it doesn't matter. It is here, it's not going anywhere, and every single day it is taking piece by piece into our social atmosphere. We're not going to be able to hide or run from it. And so I knew I need to know this. But to get into this space, it was a mind shift. 
because my mind had shifted from nine to five job type mentality to leveraging other people in the direct selling MLM mentality to the investor side of things, allowing my money to work for me, diversification. And it took a mental shift. And that is the most difficult part. You know, if you're ever in personal development and you've listened to Jim Rohn, Les Brown, Robert Kiyosaki, or Tony Robbins, for example, and you followed me and I always talk about laws of the universe, law of attraction, the secret, they all teach it in just different ways. And the one who is the most effective is Tony Robbins because what he focuses on is your ability to change your physiology. If you're able to change your physiology and change how you feel about things, then you directly impact the rest of your experience because you're changing your brain, the chemistry, the chemical balance in your brain. And that's a whole nother topic. I'm not getting into that tonight. That's for a whole nother day. That's why Tony Robbins is the most successful because people get the most results because he, he taps on your ability to change your physiology and you don't even understand what's going on. Les Brown, he gets you motivated and he'll tell you, I'm not a motivator, but yes, he is. He gets you in, uh, you know what? I don't want to use the word motivation. I use the word inspire. That's Les Brown's forte. The biggest mentor for me is Jim Rohn. Jim Rohn. That's a whole nother training about just what, how, why Jim Rohn's effective. But they all know about mindset, the ability to change your brain, your frequency, how you think, how you look at things, how you approach things. When you're able to do that, you will start having success in whatever it is that you're focusing on. To break it down in layman's terms, think about those people that want to lose weight. Or they go into the new years and say, you know, I want to be able to change my body, change how I feel, and I need to go to the gym. What you have to conquer isn't you actually going to the gym to lift weights. You have to conquer your mental attitude to having the habit that I must go to the gym. I must conquer that. If you can conquer that, everything else happens easily. Most people can't conquer the mental side of making that decision. They want to, but they don't know how. So the reason why I bring this up now is because the new mental shift that if you want to survive this century, the next 50 years, you must be informed about cryptocurrency and DLT. It is a must to survive. You got to think about Blockbuster. Why did Blockbuster and Radio Shack, why didn't these things, these juggernauts, these billion dollar corporations not survive when Netflix and Amazon did? They didn't shift. They didn't adapt. And if you don't adapt, you're going to be left behind or you're going to be under the thumb of somebody who did. I'll even quote Vladimir Putin. I can't believe I'd say that, but he's right. In his approach to cryptocurrency, where the United States is failing, he flat out said, here's the bottom line. The Stone Age did not end due to lack of stones. It ended because of better or the introduction of better technology. That's what's happening right now. We are being introduced to the future of technology. And if we don't adapt to it, we will stay in the Stone Age. So how can we make that adaptation? First, you've got to be aware that something needs to be done. I said this in my talk earlier when someone asked will ask you a question. Why would I pay money for a cryptogenics product to teach me education on cryptocurrency when I can just go to YouTube and get it for free? Here's a couple of reasons why. 
If you've never been introduced to crypto, you don't even know what questions to ask. So you go to YouTube and type in what is Bitcoin? What is blockchain? What is distributed ledger technology? What is mining? You start to do that and you have thousands upon thousands of things that pop up. You don't know where to begin. You don't know what source is correct, what source is proper. Because I'm telling you now, 90% of the stuff out there is crap. And when you're educated, you're able to know the difference. If you're not educated, you're susceptible to accepting whatever looks like it has some authority behind it. Like listening to the news, listening to Fox Business Report in December when Bitcoin was going up to 19,000 and they were talking about Bitcoin euphoria, buy, 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 don't get left out. And then the market does a correction, goes down to $12,000. And they start saying, we told you it was a bubble. We told you it was going to crash. You better sell before you lose everything. And you think, well, if it's on Fox Business, I guess I should listen to them. Really? They told you to buy it on the high and sell it on the low. In what universe does that make any sense in? You sell high and you buy low. But you don't know that and you're listening to them. And you think they have authority because they're box business. So why would I pay for it? The same reason why I pay to have my car detailed and washed instead of washing it myself in my own garage. I save time and it gets a better job done. It's structured. Then you're going to be shown what questions you should be asking. Questions that you didn't even know existed. Like how to buy the dip. Or what is a squeeze. Or what is a wallet. Or what's a hard wallet. What's a cold wallet. What's the Ethereum wallet. What does all this stuff mean. You don't even know these questions even exist to ask. That's why you pay. But that leads to the four levels of consciousness. And everybody goes through this. I learned this, not in yeah, my training in ACN, but also uh, I listened to a series that really delved into it called Your Wish is Your Command by Kevin Trudeau. Actually, that's not the name of the theories. The theories. You got Science of Getting Rich by uh, Wallace D. Waddles. The Science of Getting Rich. Oh my goodness, what is Kevin Trudeau's audio series called? Is it Your Wish is Your Command? I don't know. Blowing my mind. Anyways, it talks about the four levels of, of consciousness. The first is the unconscious unknowing. See, when I say consciousness, you have a conscience and you have an unconscious. Your blood vessels that's going through your body right now, your heart beating, your body doing what it what is. You're not telling your body to do these things. It's already programmed to do so. Your brain is already making it happen. When you walk, you walk. You take right step, your left step, your right step, your left step. Are you actually thinking of that, or does your body automatically do it? Do you have to remind yourself to breathe? No, you're, you already automatically do it. Your subconscious does it for you. That's the word there, the subconscious. When you go to sleep, your brain doesn't shut down. It's still operating. It's still working. You ever heard that when people are in comas, you, you talk to them. You're talking to the subconscious. You're, it's like programming. When you're watching TV and these commercials are giving you subliminal messages that your conscious doesn't even pick up, but your subconscious does. So the consciousness and your unconsciousness. Most people are walking around unconscious, unknowing. They don't even know that they don't know anything. For example, 50% of the American population has been exposed to Bitcoin. Only 5% own Bitcoin and half a percent even know what it is and what it's all about. 
The majority of people are walking around out there. They don't even know that they don't know that the greatest invention to mankind is taking place right now. It's one thing to choose not to be in the game. It's another to not even know a game is being played. Speaking on that, wait a minute, isn't there a Laker game tonight? No, that was last night. <laughs> Unconscious, unknowing. They don't even know that they're blind. They don't even know. the Women know this all the time about men. Clueless is a word women would like to use when it comes to men. You're clueless. You don't even know to ask that question. So in your development, in your journey, you must recognize the fact that there's probably some stuff out there you don't even know to know about. Accept that. Most people out there want to be right 100% of the time. They think that their sphere of influence is the world. Think of your children, for example. When your children start to grow up and become aware of things and they think that they know everything and you're like, <laughs> you don't even know. The things I did, you can't even, you can't even fathom. That's how people are. It's like this. You're moving around the world with a magnifying glass and all you see of the world is whatever's in your little magnifying glass, your little radar screen. And you have no idea that things that are happening outside that radar screen that you can't see, that you don't even know exist, will impact you. That's why I read the news on things that's going on in Russia, that's going on in China and Japan, because what happens over there can impact us. And if you don't even know what's going on, you're at a complete huge disadvantage. So know that you might be unconsciously not knowing crap, which will lead you to the second level. The conscious unknowing. That means you consciously know that you don't know nothing. That's how I was in the crypto space. See, before 2017, I didn't know that I didn't know nothing. Going into 2017, around eight, May and June, I realized that there's this whole world called cryptocurrency, and I don't know nothing about it. So I'm consciously aware that I don't know nothing. That's a start. Because from that point, I can start to make decisions. I'm not ignorant. At least I know I don't know nothing. So therefore, I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to learn as much as I possibly can. I spent months doing that. And as a result, you end up into the third phase. You know what that third phase is? You consciously start to know stuff. Now you know that you're learning new information. You know that you're retaining information. You know that you're able to create new habits. And you think about it every day. You start to work on it. You start to move on. It. You start to put a plan in, in action in place. And once you start getting good at that, and you do it on a regular basis that it becomes a habit, you move into the final phase, which is the unconscious knowing. Let me use this in layman's terms. For those of you in the military, and when they say, when the shots start firing and you freeze up, rely and fall back on your training. Don't think, just do. You already know what to do. They call it muscle memory. You practice it so much, you do it automatically. You don't think about it, you just do it. You don't have to plan it out. You, you already know it. You've trained for it. Athletes do this all the time. It's muscle memory. If you're in martial arts, karate, kung fu, taekwondo, your body remembers what you were practicing when you were two and three years old. Muscle memory. Think about watching babies when they start walking for the first time. And you see them looking down at their feet while they're taking their steps. And they're concentrating on taking that right step and that left step and that right step. And then next thing you know, they start running. They're not thinking about it anymore. They just do. 
It's the same way in this space or anything that you decide to do in life and you want to have a shift. You want to get to the point where you're unconsciously knowing it. You just do it automatically. And when you get there, you get yourself in a zone and things become easy. Things just start happening for you. You start to recognize things without having to think about it. Opportunities start to come to you and you recognize it. Here's another, here's another way of putting this. Ladies, when you buy that nice dress that you've been wanting, and after you buy it, you start noticing other women got the same dress. Or you buy that nice pair of shoes or heels, and now everybody got your shoe. Or, or, or you buy a new car, and you're driving down the freeway, and now all of a sudden everybody's got the same car. You Where'd they come from? Where'd those cars come from? And you say, those cars were already there. You just didn't notice them because you weren't look. You didn't know to notice it. And I'm not sure what you mean, Mark, but that's not exactly an answer. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that or what you might be missing from what I'm saying. Here. Or even if you're responding to me, I just happened to look at the chat box and you said that's not exactly an answer. I'm not actually giving any answers here. I'm giving you knowledge to begin with to start with if you want to be in the crypto space you're going to mentally have to admit to yourself that you don't know anything yet that's a start go from the unconscious unknowing to the conscious unknowing and then you do something about it and doing something about it means getting yourself educated on this space, learning as much as you possibly can. Never stop learning. And as you learn, you now move into the conscious knowing. You now know that you know some new stuff and that's empowering. That's very empowering that you feel like you have a new skill set. And once you've got that skill set, like, bro, people say to me, what was the difference, Brandon? If you went 10 years, you didn't make any money, and then all of a sudden you did, what shifted for you? What shifted? Two things did. One, I started to apply the personal development that I was learning over the years. And the second is I learned a skill set. And for me, that skill set, hold on, Jeremy's blowing me up and I'm doing a Facebook Live. Hold on, let me let him know. He's doing a Facebook Live. He's like, hey, B, you still there? Doing a live. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling him, yeah, I called you out. <laughs> All right. So... You know, I'm going to lose, lose, lose my train of thought here. Um, I did lose my train of thought. Good grief. <laughs> Forgot where I left off at. Let me get back to my point. It is empowering to learn a new skill set. Because then you can apply. The, oh, oh, I know what I was talking about. What was the difference between when I was broke and when I started making some money? I learned a skill set. And for me... That skill set was how to take advantage of social media, the internet, how to take advantage of it. So when I learned how to do videos and how to brand myself and how to get out there and meet more people than my friends and family, how to expose my business to people who are looking for an opportunity and not trying to drag down people who didn't care what it was I was doing. When I figured that out, that skill set that has allowed me to have success in everything that I do, no matter what I do, to the point now, I don't recruit. I'm not a recruiter. Yet I will always be one of the top recruiters in any business. How is that possible? Again, it goes back to the law of attraction. I don't blow up people's inbox. Hey, you got to take a look at cryptogenics. Hey, have you seen this video? Hey, have you heard of cryptogenics? 
I don't call people cold calling. Hey, are you open for an opportunity? I don't do any of that. But I learned a certain skill set to make yourself attractive so people come to you. And once I learned that skill set, it turned into the unconscious knowing where I don't even know that I do it. It just happens automatically. So I'm not sure what you're getting at, Mark. And then what? Once you've got the unconscious knowing, everything starts to happen naturally. Here's what I mean by that. Have you ever seen people where it seems like they always have good luck? Things just, oh, while you're busting your butt, you're busting your tail, and other people, it looks like they barely lift a finger yet, they always get the good luck. Things always just seem to go right for them. They always seem to, oh, a super leader just joined their team. How'd that happen? They barely lifted a finger. In fact, they were on vacation. Didn't even know it took place. Yet, I'm, I'm busting my tail trying to make stuff happen. How, why does it happen for them? Have you ever been in that situation? And if you have that question, it's natural. But that lets you know you're not there yet. You're not there yet. Number one, you can't worry about what's going on with somebody else. You can't compare yourself to somebody else. You don't know what they've been through. You only know what they've been willing to share. You don't know how they approach things. You don't know what their mindset is. It may seem like they're so nonchalant, but you have no idea what mental battles they've gone through to get to their point. I can't tell you even back in the day, I would sit in the room, see somebody on stage that mumbled and fumbled through a whole presentation, screwed the whole doggone thing up. I knew if I got on stage, I could present 10 times better than that person, yet I'm out here in the audience broke and the dude on stage is making 50000 a month. How in the world did that happen? They can't put two sentences together, yet everybody's signing up with them. Here is, I can master the presentation and nobody's signing up with me. I don't get it. I don't understand. Yeah, that used to be me in those 10 years when I wasn't making any money. And when people ask, what changed my mindset? It was my mindset that changed. It's like you have that aha moment that you just get it. It's like a light bulb went off in my head. And ever since that point, recruiting as far as for me is effortless. I remember the majority of my career was about, man, if I can just get that one superstar on my team, and if I, I got I wish I could have people to do three-way calls with. I wish there were people I can talk to. That was my biggest concern in this industry. You know what my biggest concern in the industry is today? It ain't about, can I find people to sign up in my business? Will I understand the products and stuff? My biggest concern today is, can the company keep the wheels on long enough so I can make some good money? Will the government step in and try to stick their nose in our business? It's things that I can't control. That's my biggest concern because I know we can produce. But you got to get to that point. And I didn't ever even knew that could be a concern back in the day because I hadn't gotten there yet. I'm too busy trying to figure out how can I rec recruit people. You don't know what you don't know. So one more time, you have unconscious unknowing. That's most people. When you finally make a decision that you want more out of life, you consciously become aware that you don't know anything. That's a first step. That's acceptance, admitting it. It's funny when I do three-way calls and I get on with somebody who's a doctor or a lawyer, or highly successful in their field and career. They know nothing about what it is that we do. But they act like, you know, because of their past, that they got this. They, they got it. I don't need, they, they don't need me to tell them nothing. They cut me off, just be disrespectful, whatnot. And I get that from time to time. It's funny. And I know, oh, you're not ready yet. You're not ready yet. Your resources may allow you to have immediate success. But it's not going to last because it's a process. 
You know, if you ever listen to Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Wayne Gretzky, all the greats out there always say one thing. Learn and enjoy the process. It's a process. Same thing here. To have that shift, whether you're coming from a nine to five mentality where you earn money based on how many hours you work a week to the MLM mindset shift to instead of trading time for money, I'm going to leverage other people to having the crypto mindset of forget about trading time for money, forget about leveraging other people. I'm going to allow my money to work for me. Most broke people don't even know that's possible. What do you mean to let money work for you? How about the fact there was one day in the crypto day where in one day while I was sleeping, I made more money in one day than most people make a month on their job. There was another day because of the crypto space. In one day, I made more money in one day than most people make in a year on their job while I was sleeping. And I'm not saying this to brag or to impress, but to impress upon you. There is another way. But it does you not, no good if you don't even know it exists. So the ultimate goal is the unconscious knowing. So with that, guys, that's all I wanted to share tonight. I know this was a little bit more deeper, but it only scratches the surface of what I could talk about. But you're not there yet. So I hope you learned just a little bit piece of this. If anything, here's what I want you to gain from what I just said tonight. If anything, you, if everything I said went over your head, this is what I want you to gain. This whole cryptocurrency thing is no joke. We are on the clock. The world is joining in on this at a very fast rate. It is moving fat. The development of this is moving faster than the development of the internet. And for those who oh, don't understand the difference, the internet was the exchange of information. Blockchain is the exchange of ownership. See, information can be copied. That's why they called it the information age. It can be copied. I can send you information, but now not only do you have that information, I have it. So does somebody else. It could be copied. See, with the blockchain, I send you something, it's gone. It can't be duplicated. It can't be double dipped. You own it. It's exchanged hands just as if you were exchanging hands physically with a product and service. Only this time it's being done digitally around the world, instantaneous, peer-to-peer, -peer, can't be hacked, can't be changed, distributed ledger technology. Jamie Dimon, they just admitted it is the biggest thing that's going to disrupt the banking industry. Vladimir Putin sees it as the revival of the Soviet Union because they're going to be able to get rid of the U.S. dollar and sanctions by America. It is freedom to the 2 billion people around the world that don't have access to a bank account and no access to any wealth generation. And do you know all you need to participate is access to the internet. It doesn't matter where you were born. It doesn't matter your religion. It doesn't matter your skin color. It doesn't matter your age or gender. None of that matters. Everybody has access. The biggest problem is most people don't even know it's going on. Like I said, it's one thing to choose not to play the game. It's another to not even know a game is being played. Mental mind shift. All right, guys, that's enough. I'm about to go enjoy the rest of my Saturday night. We're getting close to pre-launch. If you missed the call earlier today, Cryptogenix pre-launch update, I'll post it again right here in the link for those of you who came on late. You want to listen to that. If you're looking to be a part of what we're doing, because some of you guys are still bystanders watching, and that's okay. You're not ready to be an early adapter, that's okay. 
But if you're looking, you want to get involved and you didn't know, don't know how, get back to whoever your upline is, your sponsor is, and whatever you're doing, whoever your mentor is, whoever you follow, find out if they're involved and get on their list so that you can be ready and prepared when we go live. Because when we do, as John McAfee said, you can't put the genie back on the bottle. We're going to grow faster overseas than we will here in America first. Ironic about that. But it is going to explode. And I can't wait. It's like second Christmas. So with that, thank you guys for joining me tonight. Hope this was of some value for you. I will... See you all tomorrow morning if there's some major news in the crypto space. Bitcoin Brandon out. God bless. Good night. Bye-bye. Crypto Genex.